Hey guys, so if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm gonna be doing Q and A's every so often. I like to answer y'all's questions that you guys have. So what I did is I uploaded a picture on Instagram and I asked y'all to ask any question that you want regarding personal, fitness, lifestyle, all of that. So I got like a lot of questions, <laughs> more than I thought I would. I'm gonna do two, maybe three Q and A's. I'm gonna do one later on about like working out and eating. This one's gonna be more about uh, beauty tips, and you know body tips bloating stuff like that so the first question a lot of ways people get bloated is obviously a lot of sodium in their diet a little tip that I use is I cook all my food with Himalayan pink salt if it's pink or brown it's good if it's white throw it out it doesn't matter if it's um, sea salt if it's white it's processed and refined so many times that it's just gonna cause water retention in your body and you don't want that and actually something that I do and something that I did right after my competition because I had so much bloating a lot of times food will get caught up in your colon a nice little cleanse that I like to do is I mix four cups of warm water and I put two teaspoons of the pink Himalayan salt in it or real salt and you drink this within 15 to 20 minutes you have to drink the whole thing and give it about 30 minutes to an hour and a half and you'll feel it so I recommend doing this at <laughs> night when you're home and you can run to the restroom whenever you can. Um, it's very inexpensive. I actually dropped a few pounds. I knew that I was holding a lot of water in, so I really, really liked that. Okay, and next question. How do you resist Oreos? I'll eat pumpkin pie instead. I actually don't use a teeth whitener. A few little secrets. I use a Sonicare diamond toothbrush. They're absolutely amazing and not only do they clean your teeth really well, but they will whiten them a few shades. Regular toothbrushes just won't give you what a Sonicare can do. Do that and I also use peroxide and water as a mouthwash. And a lot of people look at me like, what? That's disgusting. But it really doesn't taste like anything. It's an old dentist secret. My mom is a dental hygienist and she actually shared this with me years ago. I just use it once a week just to maintain. Just want to try not to swallow it. And it's super cheap. Like a whole bottle is like 98 cents and it can last you like two years. Awesome. Stubborn couple pounds is just to eat extremely clean. I go to nutritional seminars here and there and I remember this one that I went to uh, they told me that and I did have a few stubborn extra pounds actually it was about two years ago and I only went like four weeks out of the eight weeks you're supposed to do but for the first time I actually started seeing definition in my stomach and that is something that I've always struggled with just because females do have larger fat cells and it's very difficult for that lower abdomen area because women are programmed to carry weight extra weight there because our bodies are getting ready to have babies absolutely no processed foods no dairy um, just try to eat as healthy and as like a caveman as possible. You can't lick me. What is your weekly alcohol intake? Uh. <laughs> I drink more often, but lately I really haven't been drinking a lot. When I do drink, I actually like to use the meal fit. I'll get like a vodka water and put it in there, but what I really like is whiskey. But unfortunately, whiskey does have a lot of sugar in it. I usually try to drink just once a week, if that, and I will try to stick to a few vodka waters or um, a few glasses of red wine. And I got a lot of questions about breast augmentation. I did get a breast augmentation done in January, but I did under the muscle and I was out of the gym for about four weeks. Uh, my doctor did say to stay out of the gym for eight weeks, but she said after four weeks it'd be okay if I did stuff like on the Stairmaster, did stuff on the Smith machine, anything where you're not putting any strain on your upper body is okay. Obviously if you start doing something and you feel kind of like pain or it feels weird, just don't do it. It probably took about two, two and a half months before I could fully do everything again. But it's not a necessity, it just makes you feel more feminine. I went up one, maybe two cup sizes, so nothing extreme. It was when I was like all into working out. So it was really difficult for me to take that time off. You do get, not depressed, but I would just get bored a lot. Cause I'm used to being in the gym all the time and to not have that, I mean, you're just kind of twiddling your thumbs. But I also did have a really 
bad allergy to my pain medication. So I broke out in head to toe, just covered in hives. Like it was awful. I couldn't take the pain medication. So my recovery was a little less fun than most other people's. But I would do it all over again because I'm really happy with them. It just kind of depends. I really just use like a foundation, mascara, and a little bit of eyeliner. Um, lately, I've been watching a lot of Alex Garza's YouTube videos, and I'll, I'll put her uh, social media links in the description. She is absolutely awesome. I went from knowing basically nothing because I would just live in the gym, and she shows how to contour, different holiday tips, different ways to do your eyebrows, your eyeliner and I've just learned a lot from her because I don't know how much money I've spent at Ulta or on makeup in general but way too much and I feel that I don't know how to use any of it you don't know what to do so I actually really enjoy watching Alex's YouTube videos because I can actually see step by step how to do these things it's a lot easier than trying to read directions want to know how to do makeup I would definitely look at her YouTube channel she just has like a lot of awesome tips on her channel and she's very popular you probably already follow her Ah yes, period cravings. Sorry guys. <laughs> uh, what I do for period cravings is I keep Power Crunch bars, the chocolate mint, the vanilla. Actually they're all really good. I keep them in my freezer and they're sweet but they're only like five grams of sugar. It's a protein bar but they're like wafers. I love them, they taste so good. So I'll eat those. That and then I usually keep like a, a bigger container of Dan and Light and Fit yogurt in vanilla flavor. Looking around my house um, and I'm bored and I just want to eat or I'm watching TV, a couple bites of something sweet will kind of help curb those cravings. That, and I like cuties or those little tangerines. Sometimes I'll have like one or two of them and those are actually really great to eat after a meal because citrus will break down the food. Those are ways I try to get over my period cravings. Um, that is a tough question. Two that I specifically favor favor is Glider. I've been working with them for a long time and I really like the quality of their clothing because it is similar to Lululemon, but Lululemon is a little expensive and I like Glider because you can actually get a little bit more than you can at Lululemon and the quality is just as good. I actually just ordered a few things the other day so I can't wait to get those in. Um, that and then Anonymous Talent. If I'm gonna go hang out with friends and stuff, it's not only workout clothing, but it's clothing that you can wear, you know, to the mall and or when you're just hanging out with some friends. I did a photo shoot with them in California a few months back, and Jose gave me like tons of clothes. They have really good swag. People ask me that for my show if I cut carbs, and I did do a little bit lower carbs. I was gonna do the carb depletion. I think they completely take out carbs for like two or three days sometimes but I physically couldn't do it. I tried, I was like, you know, I'm gonna deplete myself of carbs for like two or three days and I'm just gonna fill up on carbs and kind of fill those muscles out. And it was the worst like six hours of my life before I gave in and had some sweet potatoes. I was like the hangriest monster. I couldn't function. I was so weak at the gym, so I decided not to do that. Half a cup of oatmeal in the morning and then I had some brown rice, like a cup of brown rice after my workouts. And I feel like that's not that many carbs. It's pretty low carb besides, you know, carbs from your other food. But yeah, I'm not a fan of like the carb depletion. I feel like I actually lost muscle when I did that. I have a lot of booty workout questions, so I'm definitely gonna answer all those in the next Q and A. It is Dirty Blonde and I am five foot and I am 25 years old. Um, my diet, I answered in the last Q&A actually. It's similar to eating like a caveman. What I do is I eat like the paleo diet but I add in some good greens in there such as brown rice, quinoa, uh, steel cut oats. I am a big fan of um, intaking more fats than carbs. They always give me weird looks at the gym because I'll go get a protein shake and I ask them to put a shot of olive oil in it and they look at me like, ew, who drinks that? But you really don't taste it at all. But if you're making one at home, I would definitely suggest like a plain protein shake with a scoop of coconut oil in there. It's a little bit sweeter than the olive oil and coconut oil is like a natural fat burner. I don't really eat a lot of fruits in my diet only because I'm allergic to basically every fruit there is besides oranges and bananas. Yes, it's awful. It's 
Are you really from Alaska? Because if so, that's pretty cool. Yes, I am. I was born and raised there for 21 years and I'm actually going back in about two weeks to visit my family. So I'll be showing you guys really cool footage from that. I'm really gonna try to get some workouts in in the snow. So I'll show you guys some Alaskan workouts. Mm. Okay, turn it off. I just want to eat it. Don't tell my followers. <laughs> Nero, get back. Put on my deodorant sleeve. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> 